This is the other yoga doll in this line. Let me show you the back of their box so you can see what the other dolls look like in this line. If you guys follow Everything Dolls, she has all of them. And you can see a comparison between all four dolls in this line. So go and check that out. I don't think I'll be getting all of these. I just wanted the two brown dolls. And then I want the curvy doll there on the right hand side with the curly red hair. But because these dolls are so hard to get a hold of, who knows when that's going to be. I only even have all of these dolls because Adonis has been so vigilant about checking out different websites online that carry them. And... I mean, he's been stalking the websites, and every time he sees one come up for sale, he will immediately buy it and then worry about whether I want it or not later. I'm just too busy these days to keep track of all of that stuff right now. Good thing Adonis is around. So her skin tone, I think, is quite similar to this one, if it's not the same. The doll on the right, she doesn't have made-to-move joints, but right now, this is the most easily accessible dark skin tone that people mostly adding to their collections right now to rebody their darker dolls and then of course this doll has been out for a little while but like I said it's so hard to get a hold of that you're not gonna see a whole lot of people with this one but this is the made to move version of that skin tone and they do have the same sculpt which is a little bit boring hey it is what it is right and we can't really control what Mattel does with their products but of course we can head swap and make them more interesting but even like their face ups look so similar to me the only difference is that one's hair is up in a ponytail and it's straight and then the other one is down and it's curly the hair color is a little bit lighter on the made to move doll as well but as far as their face ups it's almost identical yeah, very, very similar. They both have green eyes and them light pink lips. Okay, so here's my doll Katana, and she is the rainbow bright dress fashionista doll. Katana is like a shade darker than these guys. So that body would have been too light for her face. So those of you who are looking for this doll to put her head onto, I wouldn't suggest it because I think you can see there, there's a huge difference between the two when they're um, on top of each other. What I ended up doing was I just customized my own made to move body for Katana and matched it to her skin tone. So that's why it looks seamless, her head and her body. Yeah, I just ended up having to take matters into my own hands. But I'm still perfecting this technique. So I don't feel comfortable doing like a tutorial or anything like that because I just, I have to perfect it before I can show you guys my method. And I don't like to give people the wrong information, I guess. So once I get my technique down pat, then I'll be able to show you guys what I did. But for a temporary fix, I'm okay with this. And in pictures, it looks good. So that's what I'm most worried about is how she looks on camera. Boy, I wish you guys could see how much of a difference the two tones really are, though, because in my lighting and this flash, it's so hard to tell on camera. Well, I took the flash off for a second, so maybe this will help. But see how, like, you can still make out the features in the Made to Move doll, but with Katana, she's so dark, like, she almost doesn't even show up on camera. It's hard to see her facial details and stuff. I'm hoping this gives you guys a better idea of the difference in their skin tones because there is a huge difference. So anyways, that's what I wanted to show you guys, these little comparisons of the dolls and the head sculpts and things like that. And I hope that it was helpful and answered some questions for those of you who are wondering about adding some of these dolls to your own collections. I think I'll do like a light review of these dolls, maybe not a whole detailed one, um, but just to show you guys what they look like and how they articulate and stuff, especially the made to move girls because I heard that their joints were kind of loose and I'm not sure if that's true or not because I haven't actually opened mine yet so I think we'll find out together I guess let me know if you guys have added this lady number 101 to your collection yet or if you plan to um, Adonis ordered this doll for me so I guess something about her stood out I mean she is a curvy Asian, dun dun dun, remember when Adonis did a curvy Asian custom doll tutorial on our channel, like, maybe a year ago, it was a while ago, so when the curvy dolls first came out, and now Barbie has, uh, packaged 
their own version of a curvy Asian for us. Um, there was all of that controversy about the polka dot curvy doll, whether or not she was actually supposed to be Asian or not, or like Hispanic. But this one definitely does look Asian. I do like her hat. I always like those baseball caps for the dolls. Uh, just diversifies their clothing style, like try to make them look a little bit more sporty or urban. So I do like the hats. I, I'm like collecting the hats right now. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's it for this video. And I hope you guys had fun looking at these dolls with me. And I guess I'll see you soon when I take these girls out of their boxes. And let you know what my first impressions are of them out of the box. I'll see you again in the next video. Have a dolly day!